Greetings. We are pleased to be here in this time and place, and we are mm, certainly mm, offering mm, a much-needed mm, respite for all of you to connect with your inner knowing and mm, giving you a peace of mind that is mm, mm, oftentimes missing in, in the chaotic world that you might find yourself in now. And what we would like to remind you is this, that mm, you are the eye of the hurricane, that you are mm, the center of the universe, that you are mm, the divine one, that you are all that is, and you are connecting to all that is. In other words, when you are mm, non-physical, you come into a body, and you mm, try it on like a new suit. And sometimes this new suit fits snug, sometimes it is too loose, sometimes it is just right. And when you come into this body, mm, you mm, mm, wear it and protect it and fill it up and play with it and mm, honor it and tear it apart and do all of those things mm, that you might with a suit. And mm, what we want to remind you is that you are certainly mm, able to leave your suit at any time, that you are able to connect with mm, mm, your higher self, if you will, and your soul any time that you choose. It is oftentimes mm, quite messy when you come into physical body. And when you are in your physical body, you will mm, mm, feel things, whereas when you are non-physical, you do not. And when you are in the eye of the hurricane, mm, that is your non-physical self. Mm, we will give you an example. When you mm, come into your body and mm, you are feeling connected and you are feeling mm, refreshed and you are feeling with eyes wide open, you are here now ready to explore the world. And mm, oftentimes there is a hurricane all around you that is throwing things at you and that is windy and can be mm, somewhat confusing and mm, many of you jump into mm, the hurricane and forget that you are the I and while you are in the hurricane you are saying mm, I want to find the I, I want to find peace, I want to find my purpose, I want to find my connection, I want to find where I am and why I'm here and mm, what we want to remind you is that you have already been there in other words, when you are in the hurricane and you are having things thrown about and mm, things don't feel like they're working exactly the way you want, all we ask you to do, if you choose to, is just to remember that you are already there, that you are the eye of the hurricane. You do not have to seek it. In other words, it is the Wizard of Oz story all over again. There is no place like home. You are home. There, there can be a yellow brick road called life where you are walking along mm, trying to find Oz, trying to find whatever it is that you're choosing to find, relationships or love or health or peace or purpose or money or whatever it is that you are searching for. And mm, we want to remind you that while you're on the yellow brick road, it is a matter of playing. It is a matter of exploring and experiencing and dancing and skipping along the yellow brick road knowing that you're already there. That is the secret that many of you forget. And it is truly not really a secret at all. Therefore, when you find yourself mm, mm, wandering around the yellow brick road following your dreams, mm, wanting them to appear, wanting them to manifest and in your Oz, wanting to find the wizard to mm, mm, tell you how to do it, wanting to mm, be told how to do it or where to find it, mm, remember you are the wizard. And remember when Dorothy actually came to mm, the wizard, mm, the wizard said, indeed, it is all within yourself already. And all you have to do is click your heels three times 
and you are home. So we are here to remind you that you are home. Even if you are in this physical body for a little while, you are home. Even if you do not have everything that you would like to have now and you are afraid that you may not be able to finish your work here or your play here, remember you are home. Remember that when you are feeling doubt that you will ever be able to complete here, remember you are home. And there is a cycle of non-physical to physical, non-physical to physical. And that you are mm, in the process. There is never a completion. We know that oftentimes you have heard through your life that mm, you will never be done. And that is the good news and that is also the bad news to some. What we ask you to do is this. To embrace mm, your ability to mm, experience the unity of the evolvement of what is happening to humankind right now. Humankind is evolving to a new mm, paradigm, if you will. What used to be good and bad and right and wrong is merging into unity instead of duality. And if you think about it, your physical body and your non-physical self is aligned and is one in its unity. You can look at it as separate. You can look at it as duality. But doesn't it feel better when you think of yourselves as all here and having this body to play with? And that it is all together? and it is not separate, doesn't that feel better? Mm. Indeed. Mm. Ask yourself, mm, would I be better off if I did not have a body? Would I be better off if mm, I did not feel? Would I be better off if I did not experience the joy and the sadness? Would I be better off if I could not cry or laugh? Would I be better off if I could not help other people as I help myself? Would I be better off if mm, mm, I could not see or feel or hear or taste or touch? That is the gift that you bring to this world. That is the gift. That is the gift of who you are to be able to connect on this physical plane. Many of you are leaving now. Many of you are mm, passing through the veil. Choosing to mm, experience the new involvement of humankind from this side of the veil. And how are you feeling now? Are you able to tap into your feelings? Where are you on the yellow brick road? In other words, mm, when you go on vacation, what is the destination of the vacation? The end game to a vacation is coming back home, so why go? And it is indeed the reason to go is to experience. That is what it is like when you are non-physical coming into a human body. Therefore, ask yourself, Why am I mm, having all of these things in my life that I do not want? Instead of saying it in that way, you might want to say, I'm experiencing something wonderful 
and fabulous. I'm experiencing what it feels like to feel. I'm experiencing this so that I may be able to mm, 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 take this feeling, this energy, this mm, time mm, mm, with me in a cellular way whenever you leave. And remember when I come back, you can say to yourself, remember when I come back. I will come back with this cellular memory to experience more again because it is fun. 